Thanks for watching this updated video on the enhancement to project tracking in QuickBooks Online Plus and QuickBooks Online Advanced. This will not be in Simple Starter Essentials. But you're going to be using Plus at least for project tracking anyways, right? Because it allows for profitability of job or project, pass-through time material. Ex I'm sorry, Essentials does pass-through time. But I mean material expense, pass-through to an invoice, item profitability, so like service profitability or phase profitability is all supported with Plus and above, double-sided items, those types of things. I mean, you're using Plus anyway, right, for most of your clients? However, there's been a great enhancement, and I know I'm showing the T-sheet screen. I'm actually clocked in to a job. This is a customer, my all-around customer. It's the main customer name. And then I have this KD Consulting, which is a project, project tracking. And this time is actually going to flow through, and I'll be able to see the cost of that time on a report. This time would also go to an invoice, which I don't necessarily need to because I'm going to invoice against the estimate, right? But that's always there in play. You can pass through time, right? from T-Sheets, but it'll also go to payroll, and the payroll expense will also be job costed. And that's really the enhancement we're talking about here. So I'll come back to T-Sheets, right? Because you might not be using T-Sheets to track time. It's so robust and provides all of these feature sets. But time can also show the cost per job and go to payroll. And the payroll expense can roll into the project tracking too, just using the timesheets in QBO Plus or Advanced. Now let's start in settings. So you have projects, right? It's an advanced setting. You'll see it in Plus and QBO Advanced. Check the box. Organize all job-related activity in one place. Pretty sweet, right? Just click Save. Now, a couple other things that I feel are important regarding job costing in QuickBooks Online. I mean, literally, this moves it super close to parity with QuickBooks Pro and job costing outside of estimates actual reporting. Because those other things like change orders and those cost to complete reports, they're not in pro either. And that's Premier or above. So again, I'm always comparing this to QuickBooks Pro, which is, you know, for desktop user base, 98% of the user base pretty much, probably. Go to the expense setting, right? Make sure these are all on. Show items table and expense on purchase forms. Track expenses and items by customer. Make them billable. Like, if you're not going to pass through to an invoice, which you can automate, that's also an advanced setting, or you can do it on a recurring invoice, then uncheck it. I get it. Sometimes you're never going to invoice, uh, you're never going to pass it through to an invoice because the customer is just paying the invoice from the estimate, right? The original job that they agreed to pay that you're going to do for them. But I leave it there just in case. But these top two are important. You need plus and advanced for that. The time entry one. Essentials does support this and time-only users, but Essentials doesn't have project tracking. So again, you're in plus. Also, two-sided items, right? Service-based items, not inventory parts. You're not really using inventory on, you know, construction work anyway because inventory is debited when you sell it, right? So you want to see the cost way further upstream than when you do the customer invoice. So considering all that, you're in plus or advanced, right? But I am in plus. So those are the settings to consider. Make sure projects is on. Now, here is my project. Let's go back. So when you turn projects on, it adds a project tab to the left-hand panel. And these are all my projects. One of the things that's new is the profit margin. All right? So I can see, right. whoa, negative 91.5. Hopefully, I just haven't invoiced everything against the estimate. right? So you can drill in and do that from there. But it helps. And I can see income versus cost. Now, one thing to mention that I'm going to point out in the upper right of the project window above new project, hourly cost rate. This is where you would add the hourly cost rate. And I only have it for two of my vendors slash employees. If you're not using payroll, or even if you are, you could put it in. Now, I'm not saying that the cost rate is going to match exactly what you pay your employee. That's going to be totally different and often mutually exclusive and separate. What I want to see is a labor burden the cost of the work my vendors or employees against the job. That's really what I want to see against the project. I keep saying job, I mean project. So I have Deborah and Clay. All you do is click the pencil icon and then click the calculator icon and input your presumptive, assumptive, projected hourly cost rate for each vendor or employee. This works really well for if you don't have payroll on uh, because I'll show you the report you can see. Whether it comes in from T-Sheets or whether you do it from time tracking, it doesn't matter either way. 
if payroll's on, then the payroll expense will eventually go back around to the project, which I'll show you. I'll run I'll run a paycheck just so you can see. But if it's just 1099 vendors, that's fine too. Use this hourly cost rate calculator. You can put in there wages per hour. Everything's per hour, right? I mean, that's kind of the default unit of measure for this. Employee taxes per hour, additional employer taxes per hour, workers' comp, overhead, right? That could be like an extra amount. So I have 3191 an hour is the cost for clay. And then Deborah's 2653 per hour. But I mean, you know, if I just had like Scott Heckman, you click add calculator, fill it out. And that's what QBO, this new you know, tracking hourly cost rate, or you know, estimated hourly cost rate, if you will, I'll show you the report. It just multiplies the cost rate that you put in times the time, whether the time comes in from T-sheets or from plus sign, single time activity or weekly time sheet, either way. Now let's show some results. Let's go into KD Consulting here, right? Again, this is the customer name is all around KD Consulting is the project. How do you add a project? Just click new project, right? Put it in, choose a customer it's for. This is essentially like customer colon sub customer, but even better because the sub customer will not inherit all these new enhancements. This is project tracking. So if you're using the sub customer method for a while, you can move totally to customer colon project to take advantage of all this that we're building into the product. And particularly for those, well, I'm not going to cover it in this video. Sometimes to get an estimate to actual report, you'll do a budget, right? By the customer sub customer, you would just do a budget by the customer project. And then it's a budget to actual report. That takes a little bit longer to, to really set up and put into place, but it is a viable workaround. You know, if you don't have a lot of projects per week or per month, it'll take some time to do as a workaround, but we have other videos on project track and you can look for that. So here's what it looks like when you drill in on a particular project, in this case, the KD consulting work. Right? I'm at an 84.6% profit margin. Now, obviously what that means to me is I probably invoiced at least 50% of the job. And then, you know, I've only input some costs, but it'll show me, right? And I can drill in to see the amount or something. If you click on transaction, it shows I have the estimate, which is my, my original bid, if you will, is 1300 bucks. I have some time activity. Now, why doesn't that show up as cost yet? Yeah, it's not posting. Time is not posting. I did do an invoice for 50% because you can do progress invoicing, which is also a setting uh, you can turn on uh, within QBO. And then I have a billable expense. Let's actually go to that billable expense. That's what I mean from those settings, right? You Sometimes you're going to use a check, hopefully not. You know, credit card expense, debit card expense, uh, bill sometimes, right? We'll talk about time in a sec because that's really the, the major enhancement here is seeing time costs before payroll. But notice I have these items, right? And tag it to the project. So there's that. And you can add these transactions on both the customer and vendor side from the project window too. So it's kind of project center, if you will. So here are the transactions. Here's the overview, the time activity. This is the time that I've inputted already, just using the single time entry form or the weekly time sheet under the plus sign in QBO. Right, and you can even group by a particular employee or service or something. Now the project reports, here's what I wanted to show. We'll come back to the project profitability. This is essentially a profit and loss already can for this project, but I need to enter some more data against it. And I wanna show the T-sheets piece, things like that. Unbilled time and expense. This is stuff that's not yet billed yet, time and expense. But this is really the big enhancement. Time cost by employee or vendor. I've not run payroll yet. The workaround was always like $0 journal entries or $0 checks to prove or show the labor burden for the project. But now I can see, based on the cost rate, remember that hourly cost rate, I can see the duration, the cost rate, total cost, $287.19. I'm estimating the cost for this project so far for the time against it. That's pretty sweet. Now, we'll invoice the rest, and I do need to show some payroll expense, more cost, right, from the time I entered. So let's go run payroll because I happen to have it on. But I like the hourly cost rate knowing, remember, these are mutually exclusive things. The hourly cost rate versus what I'm really paying my employees. They're often going to be separate things, right? They're not, every check isn't always broken out by a job. And that's, I think, something that's important to note is that when I go pay Clay, run payroll, you know, this, this, these nine hours came in from the timesheet, right? And at this time, there's no job field on the paycheck. But in the back end, it's going to apply, and I'll see the payroll expense in KD's project, right? But remember, the, the hourly cost rate can and will be often different 
you know, the projected hourly cost rate from what you're paying Clay on payroll. Okay, let's go ahead and preview payroll just to get it in there, even though I know I'm doing it a little ahead of time. But remember, the check itself is not going to have a customer job field or anything like that. Submit payroll. Notice already when I come back to my projects dashboard, KD, it's dropped about 30% profit margin, right? I had like 80-something crazy percent profit margin, right? Still got an invoice against an estimate, you know, the other half. But it's just nice to, this visibility is an excellent enhancement versus what we never really had in QBO before. And under cost, because I ran payroll, I have the wages and taxes, right, assigned. And then I have my vendors I paid as well. And again, you can just go ahead and invoice for the rest. I'll probably leave it here for now, but let me show this. Remember, the project is KD Consulting. The customer is all around. In T-Sheets, notice I've been clocked in for 24 minutes against this same customer project. And it's going, no, I don't want it billable. Class tracking, service item is accounting. I can clock out. Now let's consider something. I can export all, all approved time, right? And that's fine. You run a, what is it, a weekly? You can, you can even do like manual time entries and things like that. However, in QBO, when I add time to the project, it should prompt me to approve time. Yeah, see? From T-Sheets because T-Sheets is integrated with this file. So I'm going to click approve time. It'll bring me here. It's almost as if I go into T-Sheets. So yes, it's ideal to be in T-Sheets because there's so much other stuff they do. But notice I have 25 minutes to approve, right? That's coming in for Clay to that place. So I'm going to check it off and go ahead and approve it. You can batch approve, etc. And then I accept and close. Now notice my cost for KD. Let's jump back in, but already nothing's changed, right? That's because time is what? It's not posting. I haven't put it on payroll. However, when I go into time activity and click on the drop down, I see a 9.25, right? So the 0.25 hours came in from T-Sheets. And then you can either go to an invoice or it can go to payroll. But even if QBO doesn't have payroll turned on, I can still see based on this project report, time cost by employee or vendor, I can see the cost of that employee time or vendor sub C time against the project, which was what was absolutely missing from uh, QuickBooks Online. And, and desktop had it too, but it required payroll because time's also non-posting there. So if it's for vendors, how are you going to see the cost of that time? You got to put it on a $0 journal entry, $0 check. You know? So this is just a fantastic uh, change. Hopefully you guys are seeing that in the demo. And if you need to know more about T-Sheets, you know, T-Sheets.com, check it out. But I am still at 55.6% profit margin. The next time I run payroll, that 0.25 would go there. But at least I can see the estimated cost and my profit of 361.20. I can go create a final invoice against the estimate. You can do it from different places. But just to show you when you create invoice, right, here's the progress invoice piece. And one last thing to consider before I close, there is an estimates against progress invoice and summary by customer report in the sales and customers bucket of reports. And some will use this as like, quote unquote, your percent complete. If you agree that when something's invoiced, that means that part of the job, that phase is done. Okay, but it's nice to have this report. And then finally, I almost forgot, if you go to projects and I dive into KD Consulting again, project reports, Project profitability, net income 361.20. And I haven't done all the invoicing or expense yet, but here's my project profitability report. And notice payroll expense is included for this project. Have a good day.